Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Let me touch this. Hold on. Okay, so welcome to Vinyasa One. Hello, Daika Ho. Um, always great to just kind of let me know that you're here. Hello, okay, and that everything is clear. Say, yap to lei hoi gong hello. Yama, yi tong se yak gum live le, so hoi zi uh. An jo si si yo gen ju zi. Okay, yo yan yan yan. Okay, here, someone's here. Hello, hello. Hey, Karis. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> hello. So, um, as always, I'm always early to class. Um, just a few minutes, just two, three minutes. So, hello, 大家好。Um, 即系我次次都会早两三分钟入嚟嘅。咁最主要都系想，其实俾机会你哋，嗯，同我分享下，大家好嘛。Like, let me know how you're doing. Um, I always love to know where you are. Uh. I'm Margaret. Uh, I'm teaching a Vinyasa one today, and I'm in Hong Kong right now, and it's 6 p.m. Right, hello, hello. I also like you to share your experience. Where are you from? Um, I know that many of them are Hong Kong. I know that some of my students from Hong Kong are here, and I'm so happy you guys are here. I'm so happy you guys are here. Okay, good. Okay, so let's talk about today's class. Um, just a little bit of a summary. Uh, whenever I teach, I always kind of give a gentle heads up on what's happening, uh, what we're going to do. So um, today we're going to focus a lot on twisting. Right? Today we're going to focus a lot on twisting. Right? Today we're going to focus a lot on twisting. Right? Today we're going to focus a lot on twisting. Right? Today we're going to focus a lot on twisting. Right? Today we're going to focus a lot on twisting. Right? Today we're going to focus a lot on twisting. Right? Today we're going to focus a lot on twisting. Right? Today we're going to focus a lot on twisting. Right? Today we're going to focus a lot on twisting. Right? Today we're going to focus a lot on twisting. Right? Today we're going to focus a lot on twisting. Right? Today we're going to focus a lot on twisting. Right? Today 10 minutes ago like hopefully you had like a lunch a lunch even a late lunch is okay but hopefully you didn't have dinner right so you can eat that afterwards yes and gun seems like fun right hello i'm doing fine thank you for asking um so uh in a vinyasa class right um it's actually like at 6 p.m i usually teach uh, pure, yoga, pure yoga studio peninsula at 5 45 which is my hot vinyasa class and um you know, if you're a beginner in yoga, because we have this, um, you know, screen between us, uh, I'm not sure where your practice is, if there's any injuries that you have. So again, you can take this moment to let me know um, if you have any injuries, you know, if there's any concerns whatsoever. Um, and, you know, and I'll see what I can do via the screen and share with you. All right. So hello. Yes, I'm super happy you guys are in class. Another thing that I want to talk about a little bit is that because if you just came in, we're talking about today's class is a bit focused on twisting the body. Um, just from my personal experience, uh, twisting, you know, people say it detoxifies, you know, it, actually your body naturally detoxifies. What it really does is that when you're twisting, you know, you're actually compressing the internal organs, uh, sometimes constricting a bit of blood flow. So when you release it, it's like a new flush of blood into the area. So uh, just make sure that um, you do have, uh, I guess, 90% empty stomach, and that will probably be best, right? 最好就係冇空肚做就最好 And for those that are new to my class, hello, right? I usually start my vinyasas, um, you know, a little bit of connection, but also once we get into the asana part, when we start moving in vinyasa, we do three A's and two B's, right? So the A's are, the A and B Sir Namaskars, we follow the Ashtanga lineage, right? So if you're new, welcome. I don't want you to leave because, ah, I don't know what a Sir Namaskar is. It, it doesn't matter, it's okay, you know. Um, because I don't know if you're sitting there or watching or, or if you're practicing with me, but if you really feel like I, it just literally just passes my head then take a moment watch it you know and then when you whenever you can just join in okay right waist and next sh shoulder <laughs> thank you for telling me Karis from pregnant ladies Dawn okay oh you're pregnant okay today is a little bit challenging if you are especially in the first trimester right because when you're in the third trimester even if you want to you can't right because you've got that big belly right so if you're in the first trimester it's really um take it easy learn the yi way right i would prefer if you were to watch the sequence first possibly and then maybe if you can rewatch it and then uh join in when you can if you've been practicing for like decades and you have that awareness of your body 
then just take it easy. Yeah, we do have a lot of vinyasas, we do have a lot of twisting, so just take care as much as you can. Okay, so we are going to start. Um, just a reminder for those that are new to live Facebook, if you don't want the, the comments kind of going up, 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 I think you swipe right, right? And then, let me try. Oh, sorry. Yeah, swipe right <laughs> this way, and then the comments disappear. Okay, so again, um, uh, we're gonna start. I can't see your comments anymore, so take care, have fun, and uh, most importantly is your well-being when you practice. Okay, so let's begin. Come to your mat. <clears throat> so come into a seated position. Um, I just want to touch base with you a little bit in regards to proper alignment when you're twisting the body, right? So um, you don't have to get too kind of serious just yet, right? What I mean is that I want to realize that, you know, we've all done seated twists, correct? So when you come into a seated position and you twist the body, right? Imagining if you're slouching or your hip is lifted and you're trying to twist, right? You can actually feel that the body is just a little bit wonky. It feels off, okay? So when we're in a lunge or we're in triangle pose and we go into Pavrita Trikonasana, I want you to make sure that you come into that foundation. Okay, so that is whatever that is grounding onto the mat, that will be your focus point. Okay, so on Thai Sing, like you see our Jogan Dong Jo, you need to go to foundation high set, high winding. So, then you need to chant to the Lingju Sun, the Ha Sun, you should have chant to Mei Sai, the Lingju Si Hao. You can feel that it's very uncomfortable. So, you can't go to the whole thing. Okay, so, you can't go to the whole thing. You can't go to the whole thing. You can't go to the ground foundation. 盡量係個意思就係下半身個位置墊脊收緊多少少 ，OK? Okie dokie. So let's just come into a seated position. Calm the body now. Bring your hands onto your knees, toes so up by that way, and close your eyes. How am I doing now? So just taking a, a few centering breaths, right? So that could be whatever your centering breath could be. It could be an exhale through the mouth. It could be just a big yawn, a stretch, you know, anything that the body feels like it needs, breath-wise and body-wise, you can do it now. Then when you feel like you're centered, I'm ready to practice, come into a place of stillness. Right. As you sit in a comfortable seated position, shift the weight back a little bit more, good, and feel the sit bones even in weight and grounded. Elevate the spine, things they find to you. Join your hands into your heart center. So and so by some hojong gan. If you'd like to practice with an intention or any sort of dedication to a certain person, a situation, something you want to focus on, you can make it now in your heart. And now we join our breath in voices, opening class with three ohms. Inhale. Om. Inhale. Have a safe and beautiful practice together. Namaste. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so open your eyes and let's begin standing. Okay, so, so come to the top of your mat. Okay, good deck team. So I'm going to feet together. Okay, so Samastitihi um, is also Tadasana, right? So if you're familiar with Tadasana, it just means Samastitihi in a pose. You start with your feet together and um, a gentle reminder that we do three Surya Namaskar A's and then two Surya Namaskar B's. Okay, the, uh, we'll be a little bit slower in the beginning and then eventually we'll just really follow the breath, okay? Yeah, Samastitihi, your eyes are looking forward. So we spoke about Tristana uh, in the earlier classes. So eyes are still, lower abdomen is slightly pulled in Good, and your breath is moving. Good, a gentle ujjayi breath helps you control the length of the inhales and exhales. So full conscious breathing throughout the whole class today until the end. 
Now together, exhale through the nose. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive down, bend the knees if needed, Uttanasana. Inhale to a halfway lift. Good. Exhale, step back into plank. Good. Knees are option, could be down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra, or your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths here, Mungo Full Cup. Good. So new to yoga, downward facing dog. Your feet are hip width apart, hands are spread out wide, shoulder width apart. Bend the knees if you need to and lengthen your spine. Good. See how that feels today. Good. Look forward, bend the knees, either walk or jump to your halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, samasthitihi. I'll move back. Good. Inhale. Number two. Exhale, dive down. Halfway lift. Walk or jump back, knees can be down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, knees up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Yeah, so our second one, down dog. So try to be a little bit more still now. Spread the fingers out wide. Pull the lower abdomen in. Breathe in towards the rib cage. Expand the back. Pull the lower abdomen in, be aware. So pull towards the spine. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Walk or jump to a halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, arms up. Dristi up. Exhale, samastitihi. Third one in Chinese. Cup hei shan chao hen ti. Exhale, fu hei shan chao bai de ha fa mi ti psu tao. Cup hei lai chen de yu. Ge tiu hao chen rang ga sa tao ko hoi hai de ha. Inhale, upward dog. Sa tao ko lei hoi de ha. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ha gao si. Yeah, so you got ding fang yuan xiu xiu. So you should be able to hear your own breath. Yeah, so try your best not to just uh, sigh the breath out. So just control the inhales, control the exhales. Try to even the breath out. Bend the knees up forward. Good. Jump or hop or walk. Halfway lift. Exhale, full height. Inhale, arms up. Just the up, si boko. Exhale, samasthi tihi. Good, so namaskar B, koksa koko. Uttatasana, hold here. Going a little bit slower. So palms are together, chin is up, look in between the palms. Okay, make sure the knees are squeezing together and just bend the knees slightly and arch the spine. Don't tuck the tailbone, shoot the hips back. Okay, and exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk back, Vinyasa means Chaturanga. Into upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Step your right leg forward, warrior one. Let's take a few breaths here and hold. So palms are together, just the up. Sajra Hamai, Sisi, Oko, hold you. Okay, now feel, this is your foundation, your legs, right? Bend the knee and feel the back leg strong. Back foot is down, how good, bandai, bandai, haga. Good, inhale, exhale, vinyasa. So hands down, chaturanga, inhale up, exhale down. Left leg steps forward, warrior one, most is up, and hold. So just listen to my voice, lift the chin, look in between the hands. Pull the lower abdomen in, good. Ground the back leg, especially the inner corner of the foot a little bit more. Good. So remember, this is warrior one. Next exhale, vinyasa, hands down, chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down, five breaths. So see if you can press the heels down, lift the thighs up, engage the quads. Okay, make sure the index finger is pressing strongly onto the mat. Don't lift the palms up like I'm seeing. Like, don't lift it up like this. Ground your hands down. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Walk or jump. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana. Koksa Pauka. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, samastitihi. Okay, so we're gonna do round two. So this is gonna be a little bit quicker and we're gonna follow the breath, okay? So make sure you're not holding your breath. Samastitihi, Uriyana Banda, Dristi still. Get breathing, Ujjayi breath. Inhale, Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana. Vinyasa, exhale, chaturanga, inhale up, 
Exhale down, right leg steps forward, still exhale, move in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, back down, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Exhale, left leg, then inhale, arms up, warrior one. Exhale, vinyasa, back down, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down, that's my dog. <laughs> Good, hold here. Three more breaths here. Bend the knees, look forward. On the inhale, walk or jump. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Inhale, arms up. Utkatasana. Exhale, Samastitihi. Okay, the body's a little bit warm, so stay still. Try best not to drink any water just yet. Okay, hold here. Good. Bend the knees, touch the ground with your fingers, and hold. Good. Lengthen your spine forward. Good. So squeeze the knees together. Good. Good. Inhale the arms forward as if you're kind of like skiing, right? Reach forward and hold. Pull the belly in. Lengthen your spine. Arms are strong and straight. Good. Inhale, lift your belly off your thighs now. Exhale, hands into the heart. Good. Bring your left elbow to the right knee. Take a moment here. Squeeze the knees together. Good. Foundation is strong. Then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist the body. Again, belly, heart, then shoulders, then look up. Holding here. Find your breath. Don't let the left knee slide forward. Pull it back. Squeeze the knees. Holding for five more breaths, guys. Holding a little bit longer. Belly in. Breathe for five. Four. Three. Two. And one, reach your arms forward. Bring your belly on your thighs now. Rest here. Reach your hands forward. Good. Lift your belly up, hands into the heart. Twist the body, right elbow, left knee. Good. Then lengthen your spine and then twist the body. Hold here. Good, holding for a little bit longer. Pull the right hip back. Twist. How you doing? <laughs> Five, almost there guys. Four, sit deeper. Three, two, look down. You reach your arms forward. Sit deeper with the hips. Reach with the hands for five. Four, three, squeeze the knees. Two, and Uttanasana, fold forward. Oh. Ah. Welcome to Vinyasa, guys. Vinyasa twist. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into plank position. Germs are now. Good. So as you're in plank, make sure the hips are not too high, okay? When you do chaturanga, don't lift the hips and dip the shoulders, okay? Stay in the plank, inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Good, inhale, upward dog. Good, hold it here. Your reminder that the knees are up, knees are up. Exhale, downward facing dog, pull back. So when you do upward dog, the tops of the feet do not touch the floor, okay? If you think it's too much, come into cobra. So bring the knees down and then micro bend the elbows. And holding here for two breaths and on the full come. Good. Bring your feet together, lift your right leg up and hold. If you have a wall, rest your feet. <laughs> Good. Or be diligent and lift your foot off the mat. I mean off the wall, hold. Open the hip. Okay, now bend your knee, so as if the heel wants to go towards the bum, yeah? And then point the knee up to the sky. So stack the right hip on top of the left hip, hold. Good, keep reaching and then bring the heel in. Really awakening the hamstrings here for five. Four, try to keep the right shoulder down. Three, two, and one. Look forward, step forward, bring your left knee down. Hands on your knees and hold. I am sweating. Hold here. Sit a little bit deeper. Good. So you want to stretch into the left swords here and go as deep as you can. So if you're quite comfortable in the lunge, yeah, try to just walk forward with the right knee a little bit and really feel the stretch. Hold here. Good. Bring your hands onto your hips. Eyes are looking forward. So you're deep into the lunge. Now keep the right foot engaged onto the mat and straighten your right leg. 
Good. I want you to feel the stretch. Some people feel on the top of the leg. Some people feel it in the calf. Wherever it is, just breathe into it. So press the foot down and pull the right hip back. So don't let it go forward. Pull the right hip back. Foot down. For five. Four. Three. And keep touching. Two. And one. With the elbows pointing back, reach forward. Good. I want you to feel the stretch on the whole of the leg. Good. Go forward a bit, but don't slouch. Once you find that you're collapsing, come back up and then re-lengthen the spine. Hold here. Good. Bring your left hand on top of the right foot. Good. And with the help of the right hand, pull the hip back. Good. And reach your right hand 45 degrees up towards the sky. Good. So pull the right hip back. Feel the stretch wherever it is, top of the foot, the calf muscle, wherever it is for five. Four, three, two, and one. Bring the right hand down. Rebend the right knee. Lift up. Step back into downward facing dog. Okay, so we're quite used to kind of flexing the foot in that pose. So let's just try something new. Since we kind of need the opening later of the IT band for the next pose. Next few. <laughs> Every pose. My mind is set on what we're going to do. So let's try to help and open the body here. Bend the knee, bring it towards the hip, and then stack the left hip on top of the right hip. Good. Try to keep that left shoulder as square as it can go. Good. Hold for five. Press the right heel down. Four, three, two, and one. Look forward. Look where you want to put the foot, okay? Use your core to lift up to step forward. Bring the back knee down. Hands on your knees, left knee, and sit deep. Ah, oh, Good, how are you feeling? Just answer like I can hear you, right? Whenever I teach, I go, just as if now, I'm talking to you, yeah? So join with me, let's do this together, and hold. Bring your hands on your hips. So make sure the lunge is as deep as you're like, ah, oh, there's the stretch, and then you hold it there. Okay, make sure the rib cage is not sticking far out. Pull it in and feel like you're kind of like standing straight, like in Samastitihi. Okay, press the left foot down. Keep the left hip moving back as you shift and straighten that left leg. Yeah, so the movement of the left hip still going back as we tilt forward. Yeah, keep the chest moving forward as if it kind of wants to touch like whatever is in front of you, right? And hold here. Good. So press the foot down. Straighten the left knee as it can go. Press it down. Use your core and the hips are shooting back as your heart goes forward. Bring your right hand on the foot, ground it, and start twisting the body first. Your eyes are looking down and then reach the left hand 45 degrees. Okay, so the left hip goes back. See what happens. When you do that, for me, I feel that extra stretch along the leg. All right, I hope you do too. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Left hand back down, step back into plank, Zhang Shengang, with control. Spread the fingers out wide and hold. Yeah, now we're going to go a little bit into core work and then we'll move back into the twisting sequence, okay? So whole plank here. Yeah, so if um, someone was telling me that when they do plank, it's really tiring for the shoulders. Yeah, we're building muscle, but also if you're shrugging, yeah? Super tiring, a lot of strain on the shoulders. So make sure that you're pushing the ground away, you know, and if you're over-exaggerating, it'd rather be kind of curved like this, yeah? But if you can, you know that you're quite stable in plank. Soften the shoulder blades a little bit, make your legs strong. Okay, bring your feet together, twist over towards the outer right foot, stay here. So the hands are still even in weight, guys. So don't let the left hand be light. Ground it down like you're still in the plank. Hold for five, four, three, two, and center, other side, outside of the left foot. Hold here. Okay, so let's see how you can move your hands. Okay? Your feet are on the front and your feet are on the front. Your feet are on the front. Three, two, three. Yeah, come center and hold. Hold the belly in. Yeah. As outside of the right foot, and now come to your left hand to your hip. Draw so tight you and hold. So sweaty, guys. <laughs> Push the ground away. So just kind of get a feel. 
Am I more shaky today? Am I more strong today? You know, whatever it is, feel it. Do I need to engage the legs a little bit more? You know, switch sides. Flip and then hand on the hip. If you keep your dressy on the ground, it's actually easier to balance. If you have the practice where you're looking up, you can, up to you. So my dog is yaole. Mm. Say Sam Yi. Yeah, plank and push back into downward facing dog. <sighs> Five breaths here. Five breaths. Feet together, so ha matai. So a reminder that the hands are gripped onto the mat, okay? Lift your right leg up. Doesn't have to be too high. Just put the weight onto the left leg. Shift forward. Bring your right knee and touch your elbow and hold. Good. Inhale, kick up. Go a little bit slower. Exhale, right knee to your right elbow and hold. If you're kind of here, like kind of dropping, pull your core in, lift up, and then pull the knee in towards the arm. So use your core. Inhale, press up. Two more times. Exhale, knee into the elbow. Good. Press up. Knee into the elbow. Move slowly. Feel the body. Hold for five. Last one. Four, three, two, and one. Downward facing dog. Feet are together. Hold here. Left leg goes up. Yeah, shift forward, move slowly. Touch the elbow and hold. Press back, left leg goes up. Big inhale, guys. Then your exhale, shift forward, knee into the elbow. Two more times, inhale, kick up. Try not to use momentum, use the strength of the body and the core, especially. Last one, inhale, kick up. Exhale, touch the elbow and hold for five, four, three, two, and downward facing dog. Hmm. You can take a child's pose. You can take a moment of rest. Or you can vinyasa. Up to you. Yeah, and then you can come to your downward facing dog. So remember that uh, child's pose is always there for you. Take it when you need it, okay? <sighs> okay, now come into plank. Again, if you're in child's pose, please join us for the set. Okay, bring your left knee just into the middle, so just hovering. Okay, now bend your right knee and then bring your ankle onto the knee. Let me do it this way. So just do whatever you're doing there. So look something like this, okay? Lift your right hand up and hold. Okay, so you're kind of doing like a thread the needle in the plank pose. Hold here. So figure it out and join me when you can. You're doing the opposite side. I'm just doing this side so you can see. Okay? Now from here, with your right hand, hold the outside of your left foot. Got it? Okay, now straighten the right leg and extend the left leg. Twist the body. Hold for five, four, three, two, and release it back into plank. Other side. So right knee bends. Bend the left knee, ankle on the foot, and open over towards your left, and hold. So the right hand can go anywhere it wants. Yeah. <laughs> and when you're ready, with the right left hand, hold the outside of your right foot. Yeah. Now lift the foot away, straighten the bottom leg, uh, the straight leg, and straighten your right leg towards the side. For five, four, three. Two, and one. Release into plank, vinyasa. Inhale up, exhale down. Five breaths and down dog. Oh. Are you sweating? I'm definitely sweating. Hold here. Mm. Okay, come into plank. Okay, bring your knees down. Oh. Finally, Margaret, right? Okay, hold here. Now bring your elbows down. Good, and then keep your hands kind of like a pinch from Rasana. I'm so sweaty, guys. Okay, so in a pinch from Rasana. Good, and hold. 
Yeah, so your hips are probably up. I want you to shift them forward a little bit so the knees and the hips are not perpendicular. Hold here. Good. So, get get go pepe mo hang hao hang chin ga. Okay? Now, flip to the, uh, lift, straighten your left knee. Good. And then roll to the side like a side plank. Okay, so if you see me, that right leg is on the bottom. Yeah? And your left leg is straight, holding here. Now lift your left leg up. Okay, so right now your thigh should be at a 45 degree angle and hold here. Keep your left leg where it is. Do not move it like this. Keep it straight. So it's still uh, uh, perpendicular. So head, hips, and foot. One straight line. Now drop the hip and pump it up. Okay, so watch me for a second. Hip down, hip up. See how the top part doesn't move? Let's do that 10 times. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I think it's five, four, three, two, and one. Come back into a low plank, knees down. Switch sides. Flip it over Good. and hold. Right hand is wherever it wants to be. Lift your top leg, so the right leg up. Good. The hip is hovering. The legs do not move. Okay? Hip down, hip up. You should feel it in the outside of your hip down up 10 times three four five six seven eight nine ten low plank bring your knees down did you feel that yeah I hope you did because we're gonna do it again okay so come on this side left leg up and hold Okay, so hold the body it's kind of like in your you're in Tadasana, right? So you're going to hip down, up, down, up. Good. Let's go 10 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Flip. Lift the leg up. Hold. Straight body. Go one, two, three, four. You should feel like go jaw hip, jaw hip chipping. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, low plank. Since we're here, lift the knees, get interlace your fingers, and hold low plank. Let's hold it for, hmm, let's hold it for 20 seconds and hold. Just 20 seconds. Good. Find your breath, make your legs super strong for 10. Nine, eight, seven, keep breathing. Five, Four, three, two, and one. Plank, press up, and downward facing dog. Yeah, you can take a child's pose or vinyasa, up to you. Mm. Hold here, five breaths, Mungo Fuka. Okay, bring your chin forward, step your right leg forward, good, and come into Trikonasana. So you don't need to necessarily stand up, you can just step it forward, then bring your right hand to the foot, open the body, and lift your left hand up. Good. So in Trikonasana, your foundation of the legs pressing down, the left hip moves back, yeah, and the right hip is trying to go underneath, so you're kind of like leaning back. A little bit more so you know some people say or even sometimes I say as if there's a wall behind you and you're leaning back towards that wall you can hold here the left hand can go up or can bring on the hip most important is right now is the torso is elongated hold here you can look down coming into Pavrita Trikonasana so whenever you hear Pavrita it means a reverse version or twisted version okay so this Trikonasana so if it's a twisted triangle it's so for me, I'm not sure for you, um, I'd have to take a shorter stance. So walk your back leg in a little bit and then square the hips, right? So that means pull the right hip back, left hip goes forward. So I always imagine that if you have a cup of coffee or tea or anything you like to drink, right? It's placed on your lower, uh, kind of like your tailbone area. Bring your left hand to the foot. If you have a block today, I want you to put it to the outside of the foot, not inside, outside. 
Okay, so if you don't need a block, bring your hand to the outside of the foot. Okay, bring your right hand on your hip, pull the right hip back, straighten and twist, and hold. Okay, if the right hand doesn't need to go up, but if you feel like that completes you, you can do that. Or just make sure the hips are still square. Hold for five, four, three, two, spine guys, lengthen, and one. Okay, bring your hands down simply, just jump switch, guys. Yeah, so trikonasana, left hand on the foot, right hand up, or on the hip, lean back. So feel the sides of the body are lengthening. Yeah, so you lengthen and then you twist. Yeah. So yao sao hen ting the mo sao whatever you guys want to put the top hand. Focusing in more on the, using the breath to elongate and the core to twist. And holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Look down, and this pose is called, do you guys remember? Paprita <laughs> Trikonasana. Right hand to the foot, block or ground. So place the hand down, good. and then from here, elongate, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Good. Pull the left hip back. Right hand goes wherever it wants to go. Hold for five. Your foundation is your legs. Four, three, two, and one. Hands down, step back, vinyasa, guys. Inhale up, exhale down, and hold here. Ooh, time is flying by. Yeah, so let's just do one more standing twist before we come into a little bit deeper. So step your right leg into warrior one. Get in hold. And this time hands on your hips. So that's how you get some mosi to get. Uh, find your breath. Now with your right hand, swing it back and hold your left thigh. Good. Hold your left thigh. Hope you can see. Okay, good. Inhale the left hand up. Good. And then with a bit of resistance with the hands, just twist your body over towards your right. Look behind you as if you're trying to look at your left heel. Keep bending the right knee. Hold for five. Four. The drishti really kind of makes the body move to the direction. So keep looking back. Good. Inhale, come back up into warrior one. Hands down, jump switch. Simple switch. Left leg, warrior one. Inhale, arms up. Good, and hold. Swing your left hand down. Hold the inner right thigh. Yes, so get a good grip there, okay? Bend, inhale, exhale. The belly button wants to look to the left. So twist the belly button. Good, and then the chest. And when you're ready, bring your chin down. Look for your right heel. Where is it? Do I need to open the shoulders more? What do I need to do? Twist the body for five. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Vinyasa, guys. Hands down, chaturanga, upper dog, and downward dog. Good, everybody bring your knees down. Come into a child's pose. Good, you always have the option to do puppy dog or downward facing dog. Okay, wherever, wherever you want to go. So just take a break. I used to really not like puppy dogs. I've got really tight shoulders, yeah? So that means I, I need to do it, right? <laughs> Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody come up. Good, and just come up into a kneeling position. Okay, so we are going to come into Pavrita Trikonasana, but this time we're going to bind. Okay, we're going to ba bongo sao. So in order for you to bind, um, we're going to do a little bit, just a bit more shoulder opening for the moment before we come into the bind, okay? So come into a seated position. Have your feet as wide as your mat, okay? Bring your hands, the outside of your hands, to the waist. Like you're like, ha, 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 all sassy, right? So keep your hands to the outside of the waist. Get, and bring it to the inside of the knees. Good, and then pull the knees in. Do you feel that in your shoulders? Well, I know some of my yoga teacher friends, they can actually touch 
the elbows together. Oh, I still cannot do that. Super tight shoulders, holding here. Holding for, let's do for another five to eight breaths. So just, you know, you can really just tailor make your, how deep you wanna go in towards, uh, and, and like how deep you wanna stretch the shoulders. If you wanna go deeper, press the knees in, you know, and then when you stop breathing, or your teeth are clenched, that means you're a little bit too deep. <laughs> Okay, and release, ay, 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 roll your shoulders around. Yeah, we're gonna do a gentle forward bind. So I'll just go a little bit more open. So let's find the right side. So when you bind, the thumb faces down. Okay, yeah. Bring it down and behind you and a clasp with your left hand. Your legs are still up like this and just twist over towards your left. Yeah, so this is more of a traditional bind. You know, we do it for Parts of Kanasana, side angle, and then moving into Bird of Paradise. Yeah, so kind of this is just, maybe it's a good place to actually practice your binds, yeah? And hold. Okay. So the most important thing is, even if you're not holding the hands, like literally you're holding on for dear life with your fingertips, right, get that good grip, right? So the key is to keep your fingers hooked. Yeah, and just hold on, okay, switch sides. So we'll bring the hand underneath, so thumbs down, Thumbs down, palms facing up, and then go behind you, and then take your bind. Open towards your right and hold. Enjoy this while you can. <laughs> Before we move into the twisted bind, five to eight breaths here, hold. For three, two, and one, and release, okay. So come back to your kneeling position Good. and step your right leg forward. Yoga got to you. Okay, so you guys know the placement of the feet for, for twisted triangle, right? So the feet are like this. So remember that, because we're gonna come into that once we bind it. Okay, remember that you're breathing properly and make sure that your core is engaged and you're taking it easy, okay? So come into a prayer twist first. Bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee and just twist your body first. Good, twist. If today this is where you want to go, you stay here. You will go to Okay? Good. So for in order for you to go the twist, you need to bring your knee was here. Your knee needs to go a little bit higher up. So try to go deeper into that twist. Find your breath. Okay, when you can, the left hand goes underneath your thigh and then bind your hands and hold. Keep twisting. Good. You can more than welcome to stay here. If you want to come into the full pose, look down. You bring your back foot down Good. and straighten the right leg. Good. If you can, look up for five, four, three, two, and one. Look down and gently release. Good. And this needs a vinyasa, guys. Plank, chaturanga, inhale up, exhale down. And now step your left leg forward, bring your right knee down. Hands on your knees. So for me, um, if you're more open, you probably don't need to do this part, but for me to get that shoulder underneath, I need to kind of have like a square lunge. You know, like I said earlier, we're like down, right? But this time we're a little bit more height on that thigh, the bottom thigh, so you have more space for you to twist, okay? First part, prayer your chest and twist. Yeah. Is this side tighter for you or is it more open? You know, we have our sides. It's a great place. So if you're here and you know that uh, you're not binding today because you don't have that possible depth of the shoulder opening yet, I really want you to push. Okay, so I don't want you to go like this and go, when is this gonna end? <laughs> right, use this opportunity to open the chest, ta-da! Yeah, and open it up a little bit more. Good. And if you've done it before, you've bound before, right, I want you to try your best to bind right now if you can. Unless you had like a huge meal, right, then don't do it because you might vomit. Well, you might feel like you want to vomit. Okay, so you're going deeper in the twist now. Okay, go deeper. Okay, from here, so if it's more clear on this side, <clears throat> bring the hand underneath. So I need to thread the hand over and then uh, catch the hands. It's actually kind of hard to talk, but I'll try my best. Hold here. Or if you want to come into full pose, look down, good, ground the back foot, and then straighten your left leg. Woo, woo, good. 
Keep the bind, guys. Hold here. Straighten for five. Four, it's easier to bounce when you look down. Three, two, and one. Look down if you're not. Bend the knee and gently release. Vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale up. Oh, that feels good. Stay here for a little bit. Or go to down dog. <laughs> good, and hold here. Bring your knees down and come into a seated position, Charlie. I hope that felt good. I hope the body feels like it's more open right now, right? Because we're gonna come into, you know, an arm balancing twist. So I'm sure many of you have come into scissor crow before, right? Now that we're a little bit more open, uh, for my regular practitioners, you can do the one point scissor crow. I'm not gonna go too much into detail of that, but if you're new to it, let's just do it together, okay? If you're new, that's your joke. I highly recommend to have a block or a pillow or something. Yeah, something just to put your head on, even a book, okay? So I'm gonna do the modified version. We're only gonna do one set, acting a jati. Okay, so come into like a squat, get with your knees together. Now turn your knees over towards your left. Yeah, so now that all the twists that we did, I'm sure you can go a little bit more deeper into the twist, yeah? So regular practitioners, one point means the left elbow is in the mid thigh. Yeah, uh, if you're trying it out, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Good. Now bring your right hand down. The hip is far away. Hello, how can I get there? Lift your butt up and then lean forward. Good. With the block, you can put your head on the block. Good. And then lift your feet up this way. If you don't need the block, lift the chin and hold. You can stay here or you can open the legs up into scissor. Hold for five, four, hello block, <laughs> three, two, and come back and rest. Take a moment and let's switch the other side. Good. So go during the hari, you know, you can even actually make it higher. So it's actually just for you to be less scared that you're gonna fall on your face, okay? So use the block if you need to. So now twisting over, knees to the right, right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Bring your palm down, bring your left palm down. The hip is far away, you need to lift the butt up, place it down, and then lean forward. You can bring your head onto the block, you can make sure your legs are flexed, you can open the legs, hold, five, I don't wanna kick my diffuser. Four, three, two, and one, come back, and sit down, Chodai. Ay, 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 ay. Let's come into a well-deserved Pachibotanasana. So sit with the hips grounded, spine is lifted. Good, and then fold forward. You'll go as deep as you wanna go, or exactly here. I'm quite comfortable here, so I'm just gonna stay here. Lengthen the spine, or you can just go like this. Oh, this feels good. Then you can do that, okay? For five, four, three, two, and one, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, and release. Now we're gonna come in Ardha Bada Padma, Pachimottanasana. Okay, Ardha means half, Bada means bound, Padma means lotus, Pachimottanasana means west facing posture. Good, so we have all those intact, now we have to do the bind, okay? So I'm gonna face you for this. <clears throat> We've done this before, but we're, I gave you the option to do it. So today I want to see if you can actually bind, okay? You need the lifting of the spine in order to bind. So if you're sitting up and your spine is curled, today your practice may be to sit on a block, to elevate and to lengthen. Okay, and then from here go forward. Right, the bind is not necessary. Most important is your back for today. Yeah, so many things to think about. But if you have the elongation of the spine, bring your right hand back. And then hello toes, hook your foot. Sit up straight. Okay, so this posture is in the primary series of Ashtanga. You know, the primary series, like we did the A's and B's, is um, detoxify, right? So it's a, a series to help open the body up, right? Strengthen it, stretch it, to go in towards intermediate poses, right? So really take it easy. It's not easy if the knee is up, don't fold forward, you know, go to any depth that you want. If you have that openness, make sure that the heel, so if your belly button is here, yeah, 
your heel is here. Yeah, so whenever it kind of goes to the left and right, so make sure the heel is not straight on the belly button or on the thigh, yeah? <laughs> okay, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Good. Find your breath. Yeah, so again, I have a lot of emphasis on the elongation of the spine, but to this time, I really want you just to feel whatever the body needs to feel, right? If you feel comfortable kind of just like flopping over, then just do that. Yeah, but just keep the body engaged and make sure you're feeling good. Okay, inhale, come up. Okay, exhale and release. Yeah, release the bind, but keep the lotus, please. Yeah, you have the option if you don't have the half lotus to come into a jhana shirshasana. Yeah, but wherever you are, bend your left leg in and come into kind of like a half virasana. Right, so if you're in lotus, the foot is still up here and hold. Yeah, I'm going to do this facing you. Yeah, so legal pepe mo cho lo go jo ge zhang So make sure you're not sitting on that heel and it's actually quite grounded onto the mat. Okay? Now take your bind, right? If you're still in lotus, if you're in jhana shishasana, just keep the foot where it is. You take your left hand, so the top of the hand goes underneath your right knee. Yeah? So the left shoulder gets pulled forward a little bit more. So you're coming to barvajasana, uh, barva, bar, I forgot the name of the pose, barv, we're coming into a yoga pose. Get hold here. Get, and twist the body. So once the body twists over to the right, turn your chin over your turn your chin over your left shoulder. Get and hold. Get, so as the body twists to the right, your chin is going towards the left. Get, I want you to feel lengthen as much as you can with the chest. Okay, hold here for five, four, three, two. And one, gently release the pose, straighten the legs, and let's do the other side. So left leg, half lotus, <clears throat> sit up straight. Yeah, take your left hand behind you, bind your lotus. Option is Janir Shashasana, get to go forward. Yeah. So go forward, holding for 10 to 12 breaths. Make sure the heel is to the outside, bottom of the belly button, okay? Yeah. Go forward. So the body has, so definitely you guys heard of uh, chakras, right? So simplifying, there's, the chakras lie on the shumna, which is the top of the head towards the muladhara chakra. And there's gita pingala, right? The left and right nadis that go like this. So what you want to do is really press into that right side now as much as you can. So you're activating the body, you know, the prana movement throughout the whole body. Hold here for five, four, go deeper, get the compression, two, and one. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release the bind, fold that right leg in. Again, make sure you're sitting up straight, left hand goes back, da -dum, hold the foot, top of the right hand, da -dum, put underneath the knee, twist open to the left, Good. and then turn your chin over towards your right. Good, and breathe here. Let's stay here for eight breaths. Okay, so make sure that shoulder is not shrugging. Moha boy. Lengthen, lengthen for five, four, three, two, and one. Gently release. Straighten your legs. And let's turn around and lie down. So lie down, facing up. So lying straight into Shavasana. Okay, take a moment here. So let the body sink down onto the mat. Okay, sometimes when I lie down, I can actually feel my body align. So it's like, boom, boom, kind of just drops in. Good, and holding here. Yeah, so bring your soles of the feet, come into a stoop, the Baddha Konasana. Okay, close your eyes, I'm going to bring Feeling the release of the lower back. Your feet are slowly opening up like a book. The center of the palms are relaxed. You're more than welcome to keep the eyes closed throughout the floor sequence, right? or you can open your eyes whenever you want to, okay? 
Straighten your left leg down into the mat and bring your right leg into half happy baby. Yoga bong hoi san bi bi se. Ka hoi san bi bi se. Yo dian ai fai lo yi tong se. Alright, so just be happy. Yeah, and hold here. If you feel like the left leg is like lifting up like this, like it's bending, right? You're more than welcome to take your left hand and go hello, stay down, you know? Just keep it on the thigh and just remind it to ground and hold. Now, you can have the option to stay here, good, or you can actually engage your left leg and extend your right leg straight, right? So it's actually going like a 45 degree angle towards your right and hold. You try to keep the left tip ground as much as you can. Or you're, all, you're more than welcome to stay in half happy baby wherever you are. Hold for three, two, and one. Now take the right leg, bring it back to the center, and twist it over. Switch hands towards, I don't want to hit my diffuser. Okay, and, and look over towards your right, Mohan Yogi. So come into a gentle twist. And close your eyes. Relax the body. Okay, coming back to center. Straighten the right leg down, switching sides. So right leg is straight, left leg goes into half happy baby. You can have the right hand on the hip to remind. Stay where you are. I'm going to try to make space. The floor is cold. <laughs> if you can, straighten the left foot yeah, onto the floor. Hold here. Okay, and then we're going to do the Staying here for five more breaths. It's actually great to have this table. My foot's like hooked on. And when you're ready, bring it back to center, cross it over towards your right. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Five more breaths here. Mr. Chen, bring your legs back to the center, and lie in Shavasana. Regular practitioners more than welcome to close in a Sarangasana or Shirshasana. You can otherwise lie down in Shavasana. So you got the Ayose. Take a fun hoi zet wike photo. Feet are as wide as the mat. Hands are by the sides of the body. Palms are facing up. If you are a regular practitioner, if there's any type of inversion you want to do, please go ahead for 8 to 12 breaths. And when you're ready, joining us in Shavasana. If you're lying in Shavasana, relax the jaw. You can stay where you are. So, you will yoga and you will sing the Relax the jaw. Soften your face. Have the feeling that your body weight is just relaxed so the mat is actually just holding you in Shavasana. So if you're doing an inversion, please come down good, and slowly make your way into Shavasana. Okay, we moved our body in so many different directions today. We went forward, backwards, twisting the body. So as we lie in this neutral position, Right, to really just let the body go back, not just physical alignment, right? The inner channels of the body, right? And then you might feel a little bit more open around the hips, around the shoulders, and let that breath move into those areas. That fresh prana, the, the, the breathing, really seeps and fills those areas that are open now, right? With more positive energy, letting the body just take everything in here in Shavasana. Good. And that will be done very subtly. Right? So all you need to do is just relax. 
and your breath now is totally natural. Right? So breathing in any rhythm that the body wants to know. So reminding those that when you land Shavasana, start the relaxation from your face, the jaw, if the tongue is relaxed. Your lips are closed, but they're just gently touching. And then the face, the skin softens, and you feel like the skin is just ah, melting onto the ground. Again, you're more than welcome to stay in Shavasana. And, or if you feel like you're ready, you're more than welcome to bend your knees, roll over to your right, and join me in Sukhasana, or any comfortable seated position you like. Hips are grounded, your spine is elongated. Join your hands into your heart center. If you're in Shavasana, just stay where you are. Just listen to our closing and rest your body. If you're in Sukhasana, hands in Anjali Mudra. Taking this moment to thank your body. Thank your, your efforts you put into class. Being very grateful for this commitment that you've given yourself. One O. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Yeah, bow your head. Namaste. Good. You can stay in Shavasana. You can come forward. I'm going to get a bite tissue. Uh, okay. If you are in Shavasana, Please just turn the phone off. If you're up, hello. Good. Thank you, everybody, for practicing with me. Thank you. I hope you feel good. I hope you sweated as much as I did. Right, so I hope that uh so you equally made your body strong and also stretched out okay so namaste thank you i'm not crying <laughs> whenever i sneeze and then i have like a bit of sinuses a little bit okay but again you know what i'm so appreciative i was talking to um a student of mine uh, who also teaches yoga and you know I know it's a very hard time. We love the energy that we have when we're in a classroom uh, together. But I always say, let's not compare the two because it's a t totally different practice. It's a different dynamic of having shared energy and um, this, which is through the screen, right? We're sharing our energy, uh, but we also, you know, we don't, we're not physically there for each other. But it's a beautiful practice like this is, you know? I can connect with people that are never been to my class or are unable to come to peninsula up here right so i think this is a huge blessing right so don't try not to compare it because they're kind of like apples and oranges they're both yoga but one is like hello i can touch you and the other one is oh, i can't touch you right because we have a phone okay so okay so if you have a chance to come to our class we can see a lot of time to come to our class we can see a lot of time to come to our class Maybe we have Pure Peninsula. Okay, so thank you so much. I hope you had a great time and have a great dinner. Okay, bye.